right here is just a quick clip that we include in our uh, uh, defensive zone play um, as part of our coach and trainer education program. We use this for our players as well and this is from the uh, Detroit Columbus game as you can see and uh, right here we're just showing a face off in the Columbus zone. We're going to show a little bit of uh, puck support and some uh, composure with the puck, um, creating odd man rushes and uh, uh, just finding some some uh, soft ice uh, uh, in your own zone, uh, supporting that puck, uh, making uh, some some shorter passes and uh, moving quickly up and out of the zone. Uh, we're going to see a really nice play by uh, William Carlson, number 25. He's the center for Columbus, uh, where he does something that uh, uh, is, is definitely uh, an elite level uh, thinking type play. So we're going to go ahead and show. Uh, this at full speed. Draw one by Detroit. A little dump in here. Comes around, keeping it deep. Have a turnover, and they're headed up and out of the zone. We're going to go ahead and stop it right there, and we will rewind. And we're going to go ahead and play again, and then we are going to uh, just do some some frame by frame. Really right here is where it starts, and as we go frame by frame, you'll notice um, really heads up play. There's Carlson right here, and uh, he's right here uh, uh, with the defenseman. Once he realizes that this defenseman is uh, going to be uh, attacking that puck, he backs off. And now he grabs the puck. Now this is where he makes a really good play. You're going to get... 95% of, of forwards or defensemen who are in a position like this, they're uh, facing the back wall below their own goal line, and this is what you will commonly see is a rim right up the wall this way or sending it out this way. Um, it's, it's a chronic problem in youth hockey. Most uh, forwards who are down there and, and almost all defensemen uh, tend to just fire pucks up the wall in their own zone for, for several reasons. They lack confidence with the puck. Uh, they have no idea uh, of where the pressure is, where the pressure is coming from, where their teammates are for outlets um, because they, they are uh, so tunnel, they have so much tunnel vision uh, and, and don't really scan the ice uh, prior to getting the puck to have a a good idea what to do with it. In this case, obviously an NHL player, uh, he sees that the wall right here is taken away, and instead of firing it into some shin pads and turning the puck over or trying to exit out the other way, he simply takes a look at some, some support. Uh, it's a great play by number seven, uh, Jack Johnson, simply because what he does here is he makes sure that he gives himself a lane. Uh, it's a great, uh, great puck support play. Uh, so as we come here, nice little dish, and you can see Columbus, uh, the players, everybody here, very puck focused. Everybody's supporting, and uh, there's a great play there. So now, as we go slow up the ice. And this is number seven, Jack Johnson has the puck. Uh, his first target, and what he's looking for here, you can see right before that his eyeballs were headed this way for a pass, uh, but that was taken away right here. So what does he do? He shows some composure. He, he keeps possession of the puck until there is a, a much more viable passing lane. And we can see that right here. Nice little touch. Now, I can tell you, number 11, Matt uh, Calvert, is very aware uh, that he has a player moving through the middle there, and he knows he has a lane, and the reason he knows that is because that's exactly what he was looking at uh, as this play was developing. Uh, 
So it's a very heads up play. All he has to do is one touch it through the middle there uh, and allow the, the player who's got steam headed up ice uh, to take that puck and all the players are jumping in the rush. Remember, this is number 25, William Carlson right here. He's the player that started this play below the goal line and he's already ahead of two Detroit uh, players here jumping into the rush. Let me go ahead and get rid of that and we'll move forward. Nice little one touch pass there from Calvert. Uh, headed right up ice and look at Columbus. One, two, three, four players. Look at Detroit. One, two, three. This tells you right now that we got a, a four on two uh, headed headed this way. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Continue on. Just moving out with speed. Driving in. Tries to get a little cute, but either way, um, awfully quick from their zone to a scoring chance. And interesting enough, right here, number 25, uh, William Carlson, who was the player that developed this play below his own goal line facing uh, the wall. Uh, this guy uh, just got on his horse, jumped into this rush, and what you'll see here, although he doesn't get a piece of it, uh, he is a player that puck gets loose there. He's taking a swing at it right here, right there, and almost uh, gets a, a nice shot on net uh, from jumping in that play from below his own goal line. Uh, so we'll let that play kind of finish out. So let that be a lesson to, to our centers who, who uh, work in a, uh, a center uh, D support system in their in their own zone and about jumping in that rush, about keeping the feet moving, and about finding uh, soft ice and making uh, uh, controllable uh, shorter passes in your own zone uh, to, to uh, be able to exit your zone uh, with possession of the puck. So uh, not surprising to me that Columbus is one of the best teams in the in the NHL this season uh, is a small example why.